We're heading to Honduras today. We're crossing at the Amatillo border crossing. Honduras has a pre-check that we filled out three days ago. Printed that out. Picked up our COVID tests in San Salvador and it's pretty far from the border. So we have to kind of race there. So we're starting a little bit later than usual on border crossings. Hopefully it goes well. We got this. <laughs> So we're waiting here for our permit to get cancelled before leaving El Salvador, then we'll go to immigration. It's not premature. We're about to, we're on the hold here as our extension hasn't begun technically. So now we're crossing the border. There's El Salvador and there's Honduras. All right, here we got some people swimming. There we go. Next step. Next step. Come on, Honduras. Be great to us. This is the health check. They need passports, a copy of our COVID test, our phone number, and they took our temperature. So after that, they gave us a little piece of paper with a stamp. Pet paperwork, they just needed a proof of the rabies shots and a copy of my passport. So we got the animal's paperwork. Yay! But it's kind of gnarly. I guess this uh, truck burned down this morning. I'll show you guys. Head into Honduras Immigration. Now we're getting our passports and everything to the guy to get our tourist card in Honduras. And then we'll go over here for the man's paperwork. Now we're finally doing our paperwork for the van. Well, we went and asked these dudes over here because this is all she gave us. She didn't even want to see the registration, the title, <laughs> nothing. So this seems really flimsy uh, <laughs> as a vehicle permit and yeah. I don't know what's going on, but multiple people have told us that's all we need. Yeah, they said leave. <laughs> I overlander said you need to give them a ton more paperwork. Over. Yeah, we didn't. Yeah, we have copies and copies and copies. They didn't even want to see my driver's license. They didn't want to see his passport. So. They just said, oh, your name is Danny. Cool. Well, here we go. So even though they told us a few times that that was it, the guy over here said, no, you need another one. So we're going back. This lady does not know her job. And we only have 22 minutes left. We found out because he tried to take the only paper that we had for the, for the van. So we were like, we don't have any papers for the van now. Like, are, is this really how it's supposed to be? And he said, no, you should have another paper. And we were like, we asked like five people where, <laughs> And they all said, no, you're fine, you're fine. Ugh. So it's now the guy's leading us on a motorcycle. See, I'll just park here then maybe. Or, uh... Yeah, just park here. So it's 6.30, we're finally done. We're gonna be driving at night. Apparently in Honduras, you're not allowed to drive past nine, but there's an election this week, so that's repealed. But you don't like to drive into the country at night. We had to pick up the COVID tests and, and then book it here, so that's the best we could do. Whew. Three and a half hours, three and a half hours Wow. Oh, we're in Honduras. We had to stop and get some food. So Danny got some taco catrachos and I got fried yuca. So we're driving through Honduras up to Tegucigalpa. 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 At night, but it's 
seems like a really nice place that we're driving through. There's like kids playing. I mean, it's only seven, eight o'clock. There's still kids playing in the street and old people and ladies and couples walking around. I think it's safe. Yeah, my first impression of Honduras is that it's a very nice place and I don't understand why everybody has talked so much S about it. I mean, first impressions are very good. The houses look pretty nice. But Emily's been seeing these fruits here. We keep wondering what the heck these are. Might as well check it out. Manguitos, so little mangoes. Little mangoes, mangoes. He said they're sweet. Might as well give them a shot. Yeah. 50 lempires. That's a pretty good sized bag for two bucks. Manguitos. Right, Graham? Sombrita. What do you think? to Honduras. We found a good campsite. It's free in Tegucigalpa with a bunch of security cameras facing us and other band dwellers have stayed here and they said it's safe. And we're even more excited about tomorrow. We have big plans. So see you guys next time.